What's up, Party Army, and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Google Analytics onto your WordPress websites. So if you've been procrastinating adding Google Analytics to your website, you really should, and here's why. Google Analytics allows you to track your website traffic. It shows how many people visit your website and where they came from. It also identifies the behavior of your users to see how long they're staying on your websites or where your website might need improvements. It also shows age, gender, location, device type, and the interest of your visitors. It also tracks conversions on your website, such as signups, purchases, and contact form submissions. So we're gonna integrate your website with the Google Analytics platform with a free plugin, and after a few clicks, it'll instantly integrate with your websites. So let me walk you through how to do this. So here's my beautiful WordPress website. I just finished it, and now I want to integrate Google Analytics onto this website. If you are interested in making this kind of website, this is actually a single customizable product website. I'll leave a tutorial in the description for y'all, but let's go ahead and integrate the Google Analytics onto this website. Now, there is a link in the description of this video. It'll take you to the Google website where you can sign up for Google Analytics. After you click on Get Started Today, it'll then prompt you to this page here. We're gonna go ahead and sign up with Google. So once you get to this page, I'll click on Start Measuring. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is make an account name. Now this is just for your reference. So I'm gonna put Daryl's Product Websites. After we enter that information, we'll scroll down to the Data Sharing Settings. So next we have the data sharing options and they've actually checked the optimal settings. So sometimes if your analytics are weird or if they think they can help you, they'll go ahead and give you information or insights for your GA accounts. You can also choose to, uh, I guess, sign up for their products and services, but that's totally up to you. If you're not sure about these options, just leave them standard. These are the optimal settings. We'll go ahead and scroll down here and click on next. So next we'll create a property. Now a property essentially controls all of the website under the property name. So you have the accounts, you have the property, and then you have all the websites under the property. So this will be like Daryl's websites. Next you'll be able to select the country, the time, and then also the currency. Once we enter that information, we'll then click on next. Next they want to describe our business. This just helps Google get an idea about your websites. So the industry, so for my specific industry, I am doing autos and vehicles. And I am a small business, so I'll select one to 10 employees, and then I'll click on next. So next we have business objectives, and I do recommend to select all of these, and this will actually personalize it for your business. So I do wanna select leads, I want to select sales, traffic, and also user engagements. That's actually really important. I'll go ahead and scroll down and click on create. Next, we must agree to the Google Terms of Service. Now, I know everyone here is gonna read all this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and read all this. All right, I finished, all right. I read it, and then I'll click on I accept. So now we're gonna choose a platform. Now, most of us watching this are using WordPress. If you're not using WordPress, go make the switch. It's an amazing CMS. So here under the platform, I'll click on web. And now I want to enter the name of my websites. Now you must do it in their format. So this is www.darylsproduct.com. And this is gonna be Daryl's websites. So the next option is the enhanced measurements. Now this is actually a new feature that Google's rolling out. Essentially, they wanna see the behavior of users on your websites. Like, are they scrolling down through your website? Are they leaving right away? So this does help get a lot of useful information to analyze your websites. So make sure that box is checked. And at the top right, I'll click on create and continue. All right, so now Google's gonna start collecting information about your website. So right here, I'll click on next. And now data collection is pending. So essentially what's gonna happen now is Google's gonna start collecting information about your website. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Okay, so now that we've created our Google Analytics accounts, now we need to integrate our website with Google Analytics so they can send all the information about our websites. So let's go back to our WordPress website and let's go to dashboard. And we're gonna scroll down here to plugins and click on add new plugin. Under search plugins, we're gonna type in site kits. Now I personally use this plugin on my website. It really automates everything. It integrates uh, the Google search console, analytics, and also AdSense as well. So it does like everything all in one. This is the plugin right here. It's actually created by Google. It is the site kit by Google. Once you see this plugin, you'll click on install now, and then you'll click on activate. Okay, once you install the plugin, you will then see that the site kit is now activated. So let's click on start setup. On the next page, you'll see that you can connect Google Analytics as part of your setup. So I do wanna check this box right here. You can also choose to help Google if you want to share the data from your website with Google. Once you select this checkbox here, you'll click on sign in with Google. 
Next, you'll go ahead and log into the Google Analytics account. This is the same account that you use to create your GA account over here. So in my case, it was the Italian one. So I'll click on my Gmail and then I'll click on continue. Next, you're gonna click on select all. You do want to get all this information from Google and it's going to import it directly onto your WordPress dashboard. We'll scroll to the bottom and click on continue. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is verify ownership. So right here, I'll click on verify. So next I wanna turn on the metrics in the dashboard. This is useful, so you don't have to keep going to Google Analytics to check it. You can check everything from the dashboard of your WordPress website. So I'll click on allow. You can also choose to set up Google Search Console. So go ahead and click on setup. Next, we'll click on set up Google Analytics. So I'll click on next. All right, cool. So now you'll see that we have the account. So Daryl's product website. We have the property, Daryl's website. And then we have the main website right here. So this is actually the actual website that you're working with. So once you select your website, you'll then click on complete setup. And congratulations, you've just installed Google Analytics onto your websites. So feel free to check back here over like 24 hours and then you'll see information about visitors coming to your websites. One more thing I should let you know is when we integrated the Google Analytics, it did create a free Google Search Console account for us. So all you need to do is type in Google Search Console and press on enter. And you click on the very first link right here. And all you'll do is click on start now. So once you click on that link, you'll be brought to your Google Search Console. And all you'll do is go ahead and select your property. And over time, Google Search Console will pick up more information about your website. Now, what this does is that it actually shows your impressions. It shows how many people are viewing your website. It'll also let you know if certain pages need indexing and the experience of people on your website. To give a better example, I'll show you my website. So this is my website in the Google Search Console. And this just shows you the number of web search clicks right here. Also, if I click on search results, this gets me an idea of how many impressions and the clicks and also the click through rates. So when you use the plugin, it'll actually create a Google search console. And this is actually important to have because you will need to integrate your sitemap right here under sitemaps. And I'll actually save this for a whole nother video, but that's how you can integrate Google Analytics onto your websites. If you have any questions about Google Analytics, let me know in the comments below. Congrats, and I'll see you all later.